Hey guys, Harbour here with today's episode of Slay the Spire. So where we left off from last time, we we did pretty well actually. We, well, we are doing pretty well. Um, these are our relics and we got a question card from the last one, which gives us an additional card to choose from when we beat a fight. Um, notable things are we can't get any more potions, but we gain more energy, more cards, and uh, vulnerable is better, stuff like that. Um, but to be honest, the gun the run's pretty secure. You look like a donut with, I don't know, like a, a diamond friend. Have we played them before? I can't remember. It's been a while. It's been a while. Okay, so um, I think with it being the third and final floor, ideally we don't want to face an elite just before the boss fight, but it might entitle us to a pretty cool relic if so. And from the way things are shaping out, you don't want to take on that elite because you'll have one question mark and then another elite straight after, and then that, and then a fight, and that could be pretty bad for HP. So it might be more worthwhile taking one of these routes to the side, hitting this guy up, boom, boom, rest, question mark, boom, boom, and then either one of them. I think it's a pretty safe bet to go. As far as getting over this side, we've got choices. We just don't have a shop. Where are shops? So none later. That really sucks. Uh, well, there's question marks and there's a chance that a question mark could be... Oh, there's one here. Ignore me. I, I saw one over here. Didn't see that one. So, um... So, you fight three guys and come to this one. Or... Now, we'll take the question marks on. It might be just be more a bit more intriguing. And these guys tend to whistle down HP quite fast. With just their passive abilities. So that's explosive, spikes, and this one. I think it's just standard, really. Um, okay. We have too many to use that, so that's no use. Uh, would like a block. Preferated strike. Could take you out. Well, preferated strike could take you out straight away. Uh, we'll do one on that, one on that, and then it's just him to deal with, and we've got an explosion of three. Yeah, yeah. Let's use that. No, get rid of that, use that. And then use that too, and that, yep. That's all the cards we really need. These, that's just extra, which is cool. So, um, we'll apply... I don't double tap with. <clears throat> More block, I guess? I mean, we wanted. That only applies to one enemy. Oh, silly me. Of course. So. Let's do that for now. Things could have gone a bit better. Use that and bring this guy down. I feel like we could have done a bit better there. Um, probably taking a bit long to assess the situation might have reached a better conclusion. I don't think it'll cost us too much though. Do, do, do. Obviously, Infernal Blade, and we saved it. Thank you. Uh, lose the HP. Deal 14 damage. Might be a worthwhile trade. Stat deals with that one. Just do with like a block before taking that out. But if we take 
9 damage without finishing him. May as well take 2 damage from the explosion. Alright, uh, big choice. We'll go with Cleave. <clears throat> Let's see what this question mark is. So, it's an instance. Bonfire Spirits. Oh, they're cute. Like, I hope these are like the little eyes. That's well adorable. You happen upon a group of what looks purple fire spirits dancing around a large bonfire. Okay. Seems something like my burning blood sort of symbol. Spirits toss small burns of fragments into the fire which brilliantly erupt each time. You approach, the spirits all turn to you expectantly. Offer receive a reward based on the offer. Okay. Um, I will give them... I imagine they're looking for something that's quite rare. I'd say Limit Break is a pretty rare one, so it's Double Tap. Um, feed's quite rare, and I don't think I'm going to be able to use it so much. So... We'll give them feed. Uh, the flames. Oh, you toss the offerings in the bonfire. The flame bursts, nearly knocking you off your feet. The fire doubles in strength. The spirits dance around you, excited before merging into your form, filling you with warmth and strength. Max HP increased by 10, and you're healed to full HP. I'd say that was worth it. Um, it kind of achieves the same purpose as what the card would in the longevity if we could really use it so much. So I'm happy with that. Um, these guys we've got to kill together, like at the same time. Uh, I mean that's ideal. We take you out because you're stronger. We have inflame, flex, heavy blade. That that'd be able to take one of them out easy. That cost three, four, done and done. See what we get for you two. <clears throat> okay, plans change slightly. Do that, do that, apply that, and then apply 50 damage straight away. If we do 50 on you, well, we save 11 damage there. I'm, I'm going to go with that. 20 damage to all the others. Pretty happy with that. Take 2 damage. You're regrowing. Uh, heavy blade. The amount of strength we have. This will do great. Stops that 16 damage there. Um, play you. Strange Spoon. Oh, you helped out. That's great. Um, apply Vulnerable to you. 24. 42. Job done! Yes! See, that's how I know we've got a pretty good deck. We can take those guys out in like the first few turns. Um... Anger plus and Whirlwind plus, both pretty good. I think Whirlwind plus would have a good opportunity. Considering we have like four energy. Uh, max HP by 10. Every time you play three attacks in a turn, gain one dexterity. That's cool, Kunai. Anchor, start each combat with 10 block. That's also helpful. Means we can just attack straight out. I'm good with that. I'm good with you. And Flame Barrier. I don't actually have one of these yet. So. Yeah, I think we'll take that. Um, that allows us to get an artifact, which um, sort of goes around the fact that we can't have any more potions. Mm -mm -mm. 
So obtain potions. Does that like does that include purchasing one? I mean, I'm gonna try it out just just because. Nah, that stops us. Fair enough. Thought it might be worth a try. Okay, uh, HP's fine. I don't know if we want to go that route again. So we'll go question mark. Might have had a safer fight the other way. Okay, perfected strike is pretty neat. If you do 8 damage to all enemies, that's great. Um, take you out. See what we get. And I'll work with what I can. Flame Barrier is cool. Deal 8 damage every time this card is played. Increase. Eight by four, uh, thirty-two to everyone. Get rid of the explosive guy, but we take quite a bit of damage from him. I think we're gonna do this, this. Just take a little bit of damage. Um, this, and then this. Take out the main threat. Dexterity is gained. Sweet. And then, yeah. I think that works. I don't know if Dexterity... I don't think Dexterity impacts that so much with the plated armor. Apply you. Uh... Shrug it off. Throw you out there. We've got enough to block against that. Um, but if we wanted to attack, we couldn't. Try and bring your shield down. You're just too high. Not appreciating it at the moment. So it's whether we try and go for this one and take this at 20 damage. Right, uh, in flame. Perfect to strike. Do a number on this dude. I think that's the right choice to go with. Uh, maybe not. Considering he's not finished. So we're going to take a, a lofty hit here. 15, not as bad as what I expected. Um, do we waste our time with that? Or. Okay, 6 block deal 9 damage. Um, I want to get hit twice from that, but. We'll do that. Probably should have done that first. Twelve. Can't cover enough. Ah. We'll, we'll take a couple of hits. I mean, we sort of had to. Infernal Blade, the chance to get that again. And upgrade it. As if by magic. Um is too great to pass. But then Flame Barrier or Infernal Blade? Uh, flame Barrier because we also already have an Infernal Blade upgraded, but Infernal Blade next time. I mean, we'll take him on and then there's a rest point right there. So <clears throat> mm, so we got to take out the Spiker dude quick. We're looking at 29 damage straight away, which is ridiculous. Um, in flame, boost that, and boom, boom. Okay, apply that. 
We have 10 block already. Uh, we're going to do 5 by 10, which doesn't quite kill you. We're going to do this one anyway. We'll do 4 by 10, because it's going to take a lot of damage. You cost nothing. I'd rather take three spikes now than him bring it up to five next turn. Yeah, I, we actually um, survived it, which is, I don't know whether to say miraculous or just playing great. Oh, it's because, yeah, it's because of our blocks being upgraded wasn't this simple move it was such a smart move okay um, I don't want to put too much into our deck at the moment another flex can't hurt okay I'll, I'll be a bit more tentative about what we're putting in all right orb walkers okay quite tanky Um, got no strength. See two out. Playing weak would be helpful. One ball. Uh, think about it. And get better strike. Okay, so we can block for ten. There's fifteen to follow up. Which we can do seven here. We can make them vulnerable. Oh, just have to make you weak. And what's this? Uh, at the end of its turn, gain three strength. Okay, so they get severely stronger each time. Um, um, affected strike to kick in. We also want to defend more. So, oh. It's not fun, this decision. Definitely go defensive. And yeah, we'll, we'll take that. 22, that covers ourselves. Dexterity kicked in, that's probably why. Shockwave, that's what we want. Let's do 9 block. I could put a real big dent in them and take that guy out straight away. And we only suffer 4 damage. Or in a burn. Oh, they go both ways. Alright. You're an obvious play. So are you. Um, yeah. Why not? This, this is unfortunate. Um... Couldn't do much more there. Which is part of the, uh, I think, drawback of too many cards at this point. I'll just finish it with you. Boom, boom, boom. Molten Egg. Whenever you add an attack card to your deck, it's all, it is upgraded. Decent. Um... They're all upgraded anyway. Trench costs less. Seeing red is costs nothing. I'm not sure I want any of them. Um, we'll go with seeing red. More energy. Because why not? Gigi, you can no longer become weakened. That is it's just a blessing. Just what we need. Okay, um, you're not attacking, so you're not useful. Nor are you. We've got better ones. Okay, um, Thunderclap to make him vulnerable straight away. And.
97 damage on the first turn isn't bad. Okay, now he's angry. Um, tried to make me weak, which is great. Because it didn't work. Uh, da, da, da. So we want... We actually, we can cover that. I think I'll buy you, see what we draw. Shockwave is great. And... Body slam for nothing. Well, you can't always pick them and choose them. But, I'd hardly call it last. I think we're taking this at a pretty good... Uh, pretty good sort of pace. <clears throat> Vulnerable and weak again. Heavy Blade doing 45 damage. And another strike on top of it. 22. Down to his last 100. More dexterity. So he's brought his strength up. But he's still vulnerable. Um, right. 14 by 4. 14, 28, 56. He is vulnerable. 24 by 4. Oh, no, you're kidding me. That's um, 96. We're short by 2. Um... Mm -mm -mm. 6 by 2, 12, we can easily take that. So I think we'll put a block in. That's that's a shame. Um, but still, we'll be taking our next turn. And we've fully blocked it. So, uh, just go usual route. Attack and block, attack and block. And we had like other attacks after that, which would have been just as fine. Take him out. Uh, honestly, perfected strike. It's upgraded automatically thanks to the molten egg. Uh,. HP's fine, and we're going to upgrade you, because you're a bit in the way, having to pay for you. And then we want to go to the question mark to take on the elite. We're feeling pretty good. Shop. Nice HP by 7. When it's added, okay, so we can even buy it and they'll be upgraded. But um, the only one will be Anger and Twin Strike, so new. No. Upgrade max HP. We're over 100. <clears throat> Nemesis. If I remember correctly, it's like you can attack in one turn and you can't the other. Or like he mitigates the damage down to one. Um, so we want to block, but also attack. So we get ten normally, and one on top of that that makes it up to fifteen. Sixteen versus three left over. Mm, get rid of all the strikes in the way. I think proposing this method. <clears throat> 10 damage 6 times is 60 basically covered 10 additional damage 70 that's like a third of his HP gone or more of it yeah first turn we only take 3 damage Okay, um, da, 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 intangible, reduce all damage taken and HP lost this turn to one. Um, okay, so if we could put like status effects on him. 
Uh, we'll just play all the other cards to get one more hit on. It doesn't make much difference right now, but it, it could have good potential. Oh, he's putting burns in my deck. Flame Barrier will, well, use you. You are gone. That's fine. So that's 16, that covers that with the four plated over. And yeah, we can just pay for all this. It's 33 damage with an addition of <laughs> six straight back to him. Oh, he's applied a tangible as he attacks. That sucks. He's doing it. He's gonna do 40 damage. That like little whimpering was was me at the start. 40 damage? Are you kidding me? Right, uh, weaken. Can't really like. Already weakened. Um. I had to getting the weakness in there to hopefully not take so much damage. Right, um, two perfected strikes will finish him. There we go. All we were waiting for. Regal pillow, additional HP when you rest. Uh, it requires us to rest. Sucks a bit. But didn't we get something? Oh no, we didn't pick up the uh, eternal feather. But oh well. Another double tap. Not bad. But like we saw there, we couldn't really apply it much. We've got to upgrade it. That's a block and upgrade to everything. Could be worthwhile. Alright, let's hope this last fight isn't too taxing on us. HP isn't as desirable as what we want it to be. Um, okay. Apply you. Apply you. Got uppercut. One weak and vulnerable to an enemy. We'll put it on you. So six by eight is uh, eight, sixteen, twenty-four, four doubled, forty-eight. And then you to finish the job. Brilliant. Least taxing fight ever. And as nice as that is, gonna have to skip. Again, too many cards. So we can fully recover our HP. Um. We could smith a card, and that would be. I think we need to actually. Now I think honestly we might actually rest for once. Having that extra HP will probably help us out a lot more. Decker and Donut. Decker Donut. Alright, uh, you're attacking for 20. You'll defend for 15. You're buffing. I like the little wiggly dance you're doing. He's doing like the, the shoulder shoulder sway. And you're doing like the... I don't know what that is. Wobbly noodles? Your arms look like noodles to me. Maybe like the pasta shells, not pasta shells, the, the tubes. Anyway, uh, okay, so. 
having taken that into mind, we could do flame barrier, six damage back at you. Uh, got nothing to boost the strength. That would be cool. Everything's more or less already upgraded. So we don't need the block now. Weak could also help. So I don't think we need you. If, if we put weak... Ah, uh, but... Yeah. You're uh, blocked anyway, so... Uh, don't need you. Yeah, I'll go with that. And keep you. I think I'd better use you with um, something else. So that's negated. That's fine. Uh, which one to strike first? You're buffing. I don't like that. I was about to forget my dramatic entrance. Like, this isn't a party unless there's been a dramatic entrance. So 31 shield is fantastic. I'm telling you, blockade? Oh, I'd work wonders. Alright, flex, seeing red, heavy weight. Um, so apply that, apply that. That would be extra strong. We want more of a shield to block that. That's crazy. And we can use two of these. So you can now apply stuff to you. Give 26 damage. We've got to leave it there. So take a bit of hit there. 12. Ah, you're just making them stronger each time. Well, you're vulnerable at least. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. 68. We'll bring you down. Uh, I'm going to apply a potion here. Thirty-two is going to hit hard. Sixteen to both. These guys are heavy hitters. They ain't messing around. <clears throat> I have no block. Why'd you even try this? Forcing my hand now. Okay. Um. So block. Put additional block in. It will strike you and body slam. 29. It might have been more worthwhile doing the heavy slam now. They're adding more days into my deck. And there's more strength to them each time. Palisize, double tap, boom, boom. 19, twice that'll take you out. Yes. Right, so we've just got this one more dude to deal with now. 19 by 2, you gotta be kidding me. It's definitely um, having that strength boost kick in is, is helpful. Flex. Seven, fifteen, I mean is vulnerability applied to that? I don't think so. But it's whether it's more worthwhile having you hit for 90 or 80. And then two of whirlwind. I think it is. So, 
Uh, 26 each, 100. No, I think we, yeah, we've definitely got more. Doing both of them. Okay, so you're a lot stronger. I don't think we're going to be able to take this hit. But. 77 damage here. Three damage. It is done! The shapes achievement unlocked. Alright, so I believe um, we have done this. Uh, the thump, the thump, the thump. A deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this heart, the heart of the spire? The source of this evil? You ready your blade? Attack? Question mark? I mean, you've never been hesitant to strike everything else down. Why now? Boom! You deal 838 damage. Your heart squirms and bleeds. Uh, the heart squirms and bleeds, sorry. But is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? How does it measure the uh, attack? Yourself, have I been here before? You feel like you've dealt a total of 1,522 damage to the heart. A total of uh, has been dealt. Well, I challenged it. The heart pulls louder and louder as your consciousness fades. Ah. Hey, how's the heart still keep going on when it's it's nearly at 4 million? So we go to sleep. Victory? I think so. Oh, uh, so it does it based on your score. Alright. <clears throat> Hope time wasn't taken into that. I had like a pause while between recording. Uh, okay, so we've upgraded. Got another unlock. And we're well on our way to the other one. So, Onomori Relics. Unlocked. Uh, Onomori negates next two curses you obtain. Cool. Cool. Prayer Wheel non boss chest now also contain cards. Alright, alright. Uh, Shall we? You can dig for loot at rest site. I'll take that. Alright, well, uh, there you go, guys. That was the shapes bosses beaten. And. Couldn't have asked for a better, better run, really. We did get a bit clutch at the end. You know, if we didn't have the right cards come in would have been destroyed but honestly perfected strike it's the way to go but if you guys enjoyed the episode click the like button below helps a lot subscribe to tune in for more and until next time i've been harbor crow if you can possibly share this video it would help out a lot get the channel a bit more coverage but until then i'll see you next time